and 25,000 words in the English language. There are written and spoken words. Words are used in everything in our day-to-day -day lives. When a parent waits for their child to utter their first word, or when the girlfriend waits for the words, will you marry me? Kids my age use words like feast and OMG when something's good, and tamoz and soz when they can't be bothered finishing a word. And when we think something's funny, we log. Imagine a life without words. That is the silence that you would hear from everyone making a speech in the Baron Schneider competition. Imagine going to watch a movie without words. You would have to read the subtitles. Wait a second, without words, there wouldn't even be subtitles. It would be a silent movie, like the old days. Playing words with friends and Scrabble just wouldn't be the same. Imagine your favourite song without words. <laughs> now let's add the lyrics. Because I'm happy, clap along if you feel like a room without a roof. You see, without the words, you miss the feelings and the emotions. Australians are very lucky. We can not only speak English, but can speak Aussie slang. Sayings like, 50 cents short of a dollar, meaning not too smart, or as useful as a fart in the elevator. I think you know what that one means. There have been words in speeches that have changed the world. Speeches like Martin Luther King, I have a dream that my children will one day live in a nation where they don't get judged by the colour of their skin, but by the content of their character. John F. Kennedy, and to my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. Nelson Mandela, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Finally, I think you have heard the saying, sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will never hurt me. Unfortunately, there has been many examples of bullying in schools, workplaces and to people with different ethnic backgrounds. There have been many examples of this in the Jewish community with anti-Semitism, with terms like bloody Jew used too many times. Words are a gift and are very powerful and should be used in a good way and not evil. My view, if you have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. <laughs>